What's up, my precious little pack, and welcome back to Vega Conflict once again. We're not going to be showing off any gameplay or anything like that. I actually have to talk about progression in the game and its relation to repair times. And yes, there is a strong correlation. There's actually a strong correlation to just about everything in the game and repair times. And the current rate of players typically drop out because of repair times. They get up to the higher tiers and they go from lower repair time fleets to higher repair time fleets or they go from insta fleets to insane repair time fleets and they just give up. And I don't blame them because I I come from playing traditional RTS games where if a unit dies they're dead. You have to create a new one or you have to build a new vehicle or in the case of other space games that I have played you have to build new ships and things like that. That isn't the case in Vega. Even if all your ships are destroyed in combat, the fleet will actually still return to your base to be repaired. Okay, thinking on that idea, how could Kixai maintain their current coin ratio so that they don't lose any income, but help balance out the game across the board? Well, they can't reduce the repair times because that would reduce the amount of coins they make, and the coins are what maintain the game. They can't alter how the things repair because it would again it would break the game. But there there is actually one way that I thought of that you'd still have to pay a full price for your fleet to repair it for coins, or you could wait less time without actually reducing the time. Now, how can you do that? Well, this was actually funny. A while back, someone actually was talking with me, and we were trying to figure out how the best ways to deal with repair time in the game. And I typically repair one ship at a time and then get that five-minute discount. But that's just not enough when my top fleet, let's just take a look at it, has over one day, one hour, and 50 minutes for repair time. That That hurts when it dies. And if I'm playing a 24-hour event, I'm, I'm effectively done with the event right then and there because I'm not going to coin it back into existence for the exact same thing to happen again and me not be able to continue playing the event due to overall lack of repair efficiency, effectively, is what I'm going to say. Now, how could that be fixed so that that isn't a one-day, one-hour, 50-minute repair time, but instead is a... Come on, select. Alright, he has the longest repair time, so a 5 hour, 9 minute, 35 second repair time. How could it be changed that way? Well, let me jump back to me and my friend talking. What we were thinking was have every single fleet be available for repair so that when they're docked, you can actually repair them all. Well, that wouldn't resolve the issue of long repair times because let's say you have multiple of these top fleets you're still going to be out a 24 hour day, you're not going to be playing the game, you're not going to be able to do anything. And you can either choose to coin or log out, you, you have no other choice. Because you can't build ships as quickly as you can repair them, and when it takes 24 hours to repair in a 24 hour event, you, you just cannot do it. So how best could Kixai, in their own interest, as well as trying to get some of the player base to come back, as well as to boost new player entertainment value and give the current players more bang for their repair time, as well as maintain the amount of coins they get for anybody who wants to pay? Well, instead of activating it so that each and every single fleet can repair, because that wouldn't resolve the issue because they'd still be at the stagnant ineffective repairs of up to 24 hours where people can't play, I would actually recommend actually allowing one fl uh, the fleet to actually repair every ship in the group all at the same time. Now this would mess with the coin, the amount of coins that are spent very very quickly because you'd be repairing six ships at once, but the initial value would still be there, so if someone wants to coin it as all coiners do, they would do so. But, if you're smart, you'll save your coins up under this new repair system, which is just simply repairing all six ships of a single fleet at the same time. You'll wait about half the repair time, and then you'll skip 50% of the repair time. 
and repair times across the board would be reduced down to whatever the individual ship is instead of the overall fleet because one ship wouldn't be repaired at a time. Overall, it would help reduce the repair time by actually not reducing the repair time. Kickside would still get their money's worth out of the fleets because you'd still be paying the exact same you would before per ship, except for they would just be allowing multiple repairs because it would also increase player activity during PvP events because typically when I log out during a PvP event or a PvE event, it's because my fleet's repairing. I literally broke the fleet and I can't play anymore. I have to log out. And that's one problem that plagues the free player base. If our fleets die, we can't do anything. And what happens when all of our fleets die? Well, coiners start picking on each other until they get bored and they just log out as well. And that means they lose activity. And that's never good for a game. This way it would allow everyone to play more frequently, but allow Kickside to maintain the coin cost for a fully destroyed fleet. Or alternatively, people could repair the fleet 50% of the way, then coin get a little bit more bang for their buck as well as the repair time. But it would also encourage um, coining in the game for repairs. Just because it would allow people to choose, well, if I wait two and a half hours, I could log out, I can go make food, I can eat, I can go have any number of things away from the computer for about two hours or your mobile device log back in, coin your repair, and you spend half of what you would, but you still have to pay that initial $5 fee for adding the coins to the account. So Kickside can maintain their coin ratio as it is right now, but just make repair times more efficient so that everybody can play more frequently. And this is actually something I've been thinking about a lot as of recently. Because I'm always complaining, well not complaining, pointing out the flaws of the progression system and it's occurred to me that the progression system isn't flawed. It is actually intact and perfect. It's repair times that are flawed. They're just, they're too high for the value of your points and instead of increasing the value of the points, kicks out decrease it. But the way that they can counter this and increase overall player activity throughout the course of the day is allow every ship in a fleet to repair simultaneously. Now, you'll see for every three minutes to pass, you'll see six coins go down. Now, Kickside will see that as a negative, but need I remind them that each individual ship will maintain its overall repair costs, so they'll still be paying for effectively whatever it is for the repair. So, let's say I wanted to repair all of my fleet over the course of 12 hours. I'd repair each ship halfway and then coin it. This is effectively doing the same thing, except for it's just helping get that process to move a little bit faster so players can be a little bit more active. And this will also help balance the game slightly, because one of the big problems in the game is improper balancing, and fleets just get decimated by higher tier fleets that are within their same level and can attack them. And there's nothing players can do to stop it, and a lot of the fleets have long repair times in the later tier, and it hurts when you lose them. You'll typically log out for the rest of the day because you don't want to pay for it because you can't afford to because you know you're going to go out and you're going to lose it again but you can't stay in the game because your fleet that you're using is down you don't have any backup fleets but what do all of you think of that idea do you think it would be beneficial if you have any problems with the idea or if I actually misstated a repair time or something like that or if I missaid something please let me know below but the overall idea is change the repairs so instead of one ship being repaired at a time make it so an entire fleet is repaired at the same time by literally taking the repair time on the ship because this one would take four hours seven minutes to repair and 26 seconds this one would take five hours nine minutes 35 seconds so i'd be waiting for my bastion to repair over all the other ships but it would allow me to play at least three times each day instead of one time each day and it would overall make events a lot more entertaining for players because right now as it is, if players attack a high level fleet because they want to push their fleet and test it against this fleet and they lose their fleet because they wanted to see what they could do, they're going to be out that first day of the event. That's one 24 hour time frame just gone. And since events typically only run for four days, there goes one fourth of their event just like that. And they can't get it back or anything like that. 
unless they want a coin. And a few people may see the $5 price tag on that fleet not being worth it. Now, under the new repair time, they could pay $5, wait around 2 hours, 30 minutes, like I said, and repair their fleet, and they would be good to go again. So not only do I think this would encourage coining, it would also encourage the free player base to be a little bit more active, which in, cur in turn, I know this is going to sound a little bit like I'm favoring coiners, but it would give the coiners more targets to hit, but it would slightly balance the game a little bit more for everybody. Now, I'm not saying there's not a huge gap in the f power levels of every single ship tier, and you're going to lose a lot, even under the new repair system this way, but it would be better than it is right now. Wouldn't you agree? But under that system, the following things would happen. Player activity should increase. The overall progression of the game would become slightly easier. I'm not saying it would become completely easier because you still have to actually spend the time in the fights and traveling through space. But your repairs would be slightly less negligible. You'd still be taking the same amount of damage you are right now and the individual repairs per ship would still be the same, so you can still do the one, the five minute repair, but you'd be able to do it all at once, so you'd be able to help get yourself out there a little bit faster. But don't you all think that that would actually be good for the game? And it was all, it would also help balance out the tiers, because as it is right now, if people get bullied, they lose and they have to log out because they just either can't pay for it, or they don't want to because they realize that if they play again, they're going to lose again it would help add that little bit of a buffer to support the player base as a whole whilst not really destroying the overall economy of the game because people would still be able to pay five dollars and get a single fleet repair or they could wait two hours thirty minutes get two repairs but it would also increase activity overall i think that this type of change would be good for the game but what do all of you think do you think if an entire fleet could be repaired all at once at the same time. Would it be efficient? And would you wait like two hours and 30 minutes and coin it once and then wait again and coin it again for $5 to get a little bit more bang for your buck? Let me know what all of you think down below in the comments section. And if this actually goes well enough, I'll actually take this over to the forum and see if we can suggest this. Because even Kixa has to know that they need to find some way to help get player's activity up as well as the recommendability of the game because for as it is right now I still can't recommend it and I actually start to think more and more about why it's primarily about the repair time. Everything comes back to repair time. It's not about the overall overpowered nature of higher tier fleets. It's the repair time. When a super fleet destroys a low level fleet that super fleet is meant to do that but it's the repair time incurred that hurts the most and it will typically have a person logged out for a very long time but that's all I wanted to say on this matter everybody I hope you all actually like this idea over some of the others that I've said because this one was actually the only one that I could think of that dealt with repair times that would allow Kixai to remain to keep the repairs as they are for high repairs but lo technically lower them just by simply allowing the entire fleet to repair at once. Do you guys support the idea? Let me know below once again. But that's going to be it for this video, everybody. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps. And as always, I'll see you later.